Hello everyone, I just saw this uh, update of uh, Gizmodo on Facebook and they have now been invited to Apple's event on March the 7th and uh, yeah, it's official, the iPad 3 will be launched the March of 7th, yes uh, it's like, uh, wait, it's 9 days from now YES! For you guys that are, you know, tired of the iPad 1 or the iPad 2 for that matter, uh, yeah, you are going to get a iPad 3, yes! And uh, this little bad boy here is, um, you know, rumored to have a resolution of 2048 times 1536, and that is a resolution which is, I don't really remember the PPI, but I yeah it's way over the 300 and that's more of the I mean the eye can see something about like 300 so you shouldn't worry about that because this is resolution here yeah it's a lot more than full HD and it's just a 10 inch iPad so <laughs> you mean I mean you can't really complain and it's also rumored to have a quad core A6 processor, but of course that's not you know that uh, it's not so big um, chance. I mean the chances aren't that big that we will get this A6 quad core. Uh, maybe a improved A5, maybe a dual core clocked over two gigahertz. I don't really know. Of course we will know that in like nine days or something like that but uh, yeah of course we can hope that uh, Apple will uh, launch it with this quad core uh, it's not impossible since uh, HTC and you know Samsung having those rumors about a quad core smartphones and uh, yeah you know Asus ePad uh, transformer is out with a quad core so it's absolutely not impossible that we will see this iPad 3 with a I eight A6 quad core processor so yeah that's uh, you know um, pretty much all but uh, I just wanted to take this picture here um, of course this is not probably how it will look but uh, I mean it will probably have the same screen size and you know everything like that and uh, yeah I mean uh, if you have been waiting for this iPad 3 I don't really think that you will be disappointed I think that the Apple have improved the specs a lot from the iPad 2 so uh, if you are waiting for this iPad 3 you should get it because Apple well they are not always disappointing uh, I think that the iPhone 4s was a disappointment I was actually you know thinking about buying maybe the next iPhone or something like that but if they are going to keep it like you know the iPhone 4 I mean it doesn't really matter uh, Apple is kind of burying themselves, but uh, I think that the uh, future is the iPad and some iPods and uh, the Macs. Uh, so yeah, I guess that you should buy this if you are a multimedia freak and a gaming freak. So yeah, that's all for this video. See ya.